Welcome, and thank you for joining me for this random gaming news, where today, you know, I just kind of want to rant a little bit about the Nintendo Direct Mini that we got yesterday. It wasn't the greatest, but we'll talk about that in just a moment. But before we do, go ahead and check out those social media links down in the description, as well as that special link that actually helps me out personally. I'll make sure you guys are tuning back over to the Twitch channel that I did main, link in the description, so you guys can see us play some games here this weekend, Friday at 8 p.m. Central Standard Time, or CS. We will be playing uh, Grounded, so don't want to miss out on that because I will probably be screaming like a little kid. Also, hit the like button if you did enjoy today's video, share this video to help out the channel the most, hit the subscribe button with that bell icon turned on for more content like this, and let's go ahead and start the video. The Direct started where a game where you actually fight with the music from Kingdom Hearts. Uh, it was like some cadence of Hyrule, but worse. And it looks like they're, you know, it's just a game that you give little kids on a tablet to keep them busy. And that they don't know any better that this is a shit game because it, they haven't had any experience with actually good games. Uh, there wasn't really a whole lot of highlights there. We did get some stuff for, you know, uh, World of Tanks Bliss. So we did get an actual mobile game moved over. Like I said, we got the Kingdom Hearts game and a couple of other games like the Creed Rumble boxing game. I just... It was all just stuff that it just really didn't stick out, didn't really get in my head there. There was a couple of highlights that I did want to go over from this almost 11 minute direct that we had, and that was just the Final Fantasy Crystal Chronicles remaster, which I kind of forgot that it actually was coming out, and we'll have to see about the reviews on that game if it is going to be something worth buying or not. But also, the more shocking one was the collections of Saga, the Final Fantasy Legend collections, where we're getting three of those games from the old Game Boy kind of brought up to the modern air of gaming. So that is kind of Cool to see that we are getting those kind of brought up here so we can actually play those on the Switch because it's nice to see you know some of those old games that we wouldn't otherwise have an ability to do or anything to do with if you know uh, it wasn't brought up to the Switch air for us here. Uh, I might get a physical copy of that just to add that into my collection but now looking over you know the dislike to like ratio on the video you can see that they're just not a very good reaction to this overall Switch. It was one of the more weaker Switches or directs if you really ask me and and it's kind of uh, implemented throughout the whole thing that it does seem like Nintendo and Japan as a whole are just having some problems with this work at home situation with the COVID-19 as they, you know, put the lovely reminder at the front of all of these videos to remind us that due to COVID-19, some of this stuff may not come out the way that it wanted to. But personally, uh, you know, I don't think that's one of the things that we really need to worry about right now because it is because of COVID-19. We're not getting a lot of information from Nintendo and the Dreamcast guy actually says it the best. Nintendo doesn't really need us. It's one of those things where Nintendo, it, they can go about not giving us any information, only putting out shadow drop games or putting out a game every here and there where, you know, we're just getting very little drip feeds of it because they don't technically need the consumer as much as we want them to because Nintendo, they could go out tomorrow and still would be a billion dollar company that isn't putting out any games but still making money year in and year out just by all the merchandising and stuff that they do with like Mario and uh, you know Zelda and all the other big franchises they have tied into the actual Nintendo franchise uh, or the Nintendo branding and name there with it. So it's one of those things that Nintendo doesn't need to put out games every fucking year. They don't need to put out these big huge spectacle games that you know oh my god I can't believe they're not giving us some information or anything because honestly that kind of thinking is kind of not a good way to look at things because you're thinking about it as a company owes you this information or they owe you more games on top of that where in all actuality Nintendo doesn't owe you shit they don't owe you anything they don't owe you any information they don't owe you anything when it does come to putting out these directs and these directs were something that are actually more of a modern thing as it is beforehand we used to get our drip feed information from magazines that wasn't even correct information at the time of some of those magazines coming out so we just have to keep in mind that we are in a golden age of getting some of this information and we want that information here and now, but it, sometimes that's not the case. Just like with Nintendo right now, we're not going to get a lot of that information here. We're not going to get a lot of that information until probably later on or even next year. Hopefully they do do something. I, I Don't get me wrong. I do want Nintendo to put out some big games. I love Nintendo products. 
I love my Switch, but it's one of those things that I look at the Switch as more of like a Game Boy style console for me, where it's an add-on to the other consoles that I have, because I, ha I do have all the consoles. I have a PS4, Xbox, and a PC, along with my Nintendo Switch, so the Switch is just more of icing on the cake for me, and that's kind of how I see it with all the other people that I've come across that actually own Nintendo Switches as well. As a, it's more of an icing on the cake, or it's something to give them a, you know, a quick little playthrough, or you know, play this little game here or there, but it doesn't give you like quite the open world experiences that like a PC, Xbox, or a PS4 can give you. Yeah, we do have games like The Witcher 3 or Outer Worlds on the Switch, and they do give you a little bit of that open world experience, but I do believe that part of those games are actually hindered by the fact that they don't look the greatest. Because if I can go and pick them up for cheaper on my Xbox and it looks way better, and that's the VCR version Xbox, then I don't really have a reason to want to pick it up on the Switch other than wanting to sit in my bed and play The Witcher 3. Um, but, you know, at that point, you probably already beat it and you're really only getting it to get the support of The Witcher 3 on the Switch so we get more games like that. And at least that's how I looked at it when I bought the copy because I do have it on every console but the PS4 just because I don't really want to buy it a fourth time for a different console. But it's one of those things where if you just really look at things, you don't really get that big open world experiences. We've got a lot of the bigger games and stuff like that from Nintendo, and usually they do sit back a couple years after releasing so many big games that they did. We just got really lucky with getting as much as we have from them in the past three years, and now we're in a spot where a lot of people and companies are actually you know, hurting due to COVID-19. So really, I would just say, you know, just kind of ending it here, would you really want to pressure somebody into doing something right now that they wouldn't otherwise need to just so that way you can get a video game out of them? No, you wouldn't. And if that answer is yes for you, you should probably be patient with Nintendo and let them do what they do because they do make good games when they put them out and we are all going to buy them as, you know, case in point with fucking Animal Crossing sold nearly, you know, over 10 million copies within two months of the fucking game being out and it's still growing in a player base. So just take it easy. Let's just be patient for a little bit. See what Nintendo has. We have Pikmin 3 coming out. That's an awesome game. There are a bunch of other games coming out, like Cyberpunk 2077. That's a game that's going to be coming out this year. We're also getting Assassin's Creed Valhalla in the same couple of weeks. Uh, and we are getting, you know, a few other big title games still to, you know, last us throughout the rest of the year. So just because Nintendo doesn't put out anything doesn't mean that they've given up on this year. It just means that they need a little more time because they're struggling more than any of the other companies that are out there. Well, that's the video for today. I hope you guys did enjoy it. Hit the like button. Let me know that you did enjoy today's video. Leave your thoughts about the direct mini down in the comments below what you guys actually thought about it what was your highlight from that direct mini i'd love to hear from you down in those comments below make sure you are checking out those social media links for all the stuff from twitter instagram facebook and twitch where you guys can come and see us here on friday at 8 p.m cst where we will be playing grounded and i will probably scream like a little kid also check out the special link that helps me out personally if you guys would go over and check that out and you know, see if you like anything there let me know if you do or if there's anything i can get that you would like for that uh, make sure that you are also sharing this video because that does help out the channel the most hit that subscribe button with the bell icon turned on so you don't miss out on any more content like this and have a wonder filled fucking gaming night